I'm Saisha, and for the Matilda Puppet Show, we are going to be doing the scene throwing the hammer. Just sit back and enjoy. News come, I suppose. Looking down from her great height, she was eating from an extra large bag of potato crisp. Welcome to Borstal. The two tiny ones confronted by the giant kept watchful silence. Have you met the Trunchbull yet? We have seen her at prayers, but we haven't met her. You've got a treat coming to you. She hates very small children. She therefore loathes the bottom class and everyone in it. She thinks five-year-olds are grubs that haven't yet hatched out. In went another fistful of crisps, and when she spoke again, out spread the crumbs. If you survive your first year, you may just manage to live through the rest of your time here, but many don't survive. They get out on streets screaming, I've seen them often. I suppose you now, the Trunchbull has a lock-up cupboard in her private quarters called the Chokey. Have you heard about the Chokey? Matilda and Lavender shook their heads and continued to gaze up at the giant. The Chokey is a very tall but very bare cupboard. The floor is only 10 inches square so you can sit down or squat in it. You have to stand and three of the walls are made of cement with bits of broken glass sticking out all over so you can lean against them. You have to stand more or less at attention all the time when you get locked up in there, it's terrible. Have, have you even been in there? My first term, I was in there six times. Why were you put in? What had you done? I poured half a tin of golden syrup on the seat of the chair the trench bowl was gonna sit on at prayers. It was wonderful when she lowered herself into the chair. There was a loud squelching noise similar to that made by a hippopotamus when lowering its foot into the mud on the banks of the Limpupu River. But you're too small and stupid to have read the just so stories, aren't you? And the trunchbull put you in the chokey for a whole day, all day long. From now on, Anybody caught eating in class goes straight out the window. You have to remember that the trench bowl once threw the hammer for Britain in the Olympics, so she's very proud of her right arm. What throwing the hammer? The hammer is actually a very great cannonball on the end of a long bit of wire. The thrower whisks it around his or her faster and faster, then lets it go. At that point, something strange happened. The playground, which up to then had been filled with shrieks and the shouting of children at play at all at once, became silent as the grave. Watch out, Amanda Tripp! You, Amanda Tripp! Come here! Hold your hats! I want those filthy pigtails off before you come back to school tomorrow. Ma, my mommy likes them. She plants them for me every morning. You look like a rat with a tail coming out of its head. Ma, ma, my mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a treat. I don't give a thinker's toot what your mommy thinks. Trunchbull grabbed hold Amanda's pigtail in her right fist and lifted the girl clear off the ground. She started swinging her round and round, faster and faster, and Amanda was screaming. Well thrown, sir! Not bad, considering I'm not in strict training. Not bad at all. The end.